This is the Chroma plugin for Unreal, and there's a new enhancement to speed up your workflow. If we go to the project folder, and under content, now you can put your Chroma files right in the content folder. And if you do a build, here I'll copy the Chroma files. So when you do a build, you'll place the Chroma files right in your project name content folder. Okay. And now there's a new blueprint level. If you go to levels, there's an animation level. Here you go. You can see the different buttons. Shift F1 to get a cursor. And then you can play composite. And composites are all the devices at the same time. So an animation will have a name, underscore, and the device type. Composite will play the whole group of that animation. There's options to play one time. There's a, now a loop option. So if I turn on loop, it'll cycle the animation, and once it's complete, it will restart. And I can stop animations while they're playing. If I hit clear, that will launch the blank animation, which will clear all the devices at the same time. And then you can play animations individually. So if I just want to play the keyboard animation, again, you can play through one time or loop it, or call stop animation. And let's look at the blueprints behind this. The new method play animations plural will take a string array of animation names and you can decide whether they loop or not. Stop animations plural again takes a string array and it will stop all the animations listed. Play Animations Composite takes the animation name and will automatically execute Play Animation with the underscore device name for all the animations in that set. You can decide to loop it or not using the toggle. Stop Animation Composite will stop all the animations in the set given the animation name and it will automatically add the underscore device type for everything in that set. And then you can call Play Animation individually if you want to pass the animation name and you can decide whether to loop them or not using the toggle. And stop animation, you can explicitly stop an animation given the animation name. And when you reference the name, a composite is considered a set of animations. So you pass in blank, it's going to interact with the whole set of animations given that name. So when you pass random, it's the entire set of Chroma animations, which go in your content folder. This has been a workflow enhancement, and thanks for watching.